guys good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be going over some brand new wwe action figure fix-ups that we will be able to do with the new figures that we saw at ringside fest 2020 or ringside fest at home you guys remember last week we took a look at the brand new figures we're going to be getting and i've done this before with some figures we saw at sdcc at home where we pretty much take some new figures and i tell you guys some planned fix-ups that i plan on doing and maybe some fix-ups you may want to think about to do with yourselves if you you know you want to add these figures to your collection and then switch some parts regarding your own collection over to the new figures we are getting so let's go ahead and dive into it guys the first one is kind of troublesome and we'll get into that and i'll explain why it's kind of troublesome but we're starting things off with the two pack with jeff hardy and triple h now we're going to start off with jeff hardy for jeff hardy guys this figure is pretty much the ringside exclusive two pack except it has a different head sculpt and it does not include the uh, the same shirt i'm guessing we're probably going to get some sort of mesh shirt because i do believe in this match he had on like a mesh you know clear long sleeve shirt that you know jeff hardy is synonymous with wearing but for this head sculpt i really enjoy this head now for these swaps guys we're just going to be looking at the you you could literally put this head sculpt on so many different jeffs i think that this head sculpt would look good on any jeff you wanted to say but uh i feel like the entrance greats the survivor series the elite 67 the elite 71 with the pink sleeves i mean literally any jeff hardy figure that you put this on even the elite 75 the elite 57 jeff hardy is another good one i think there's so many great you know head swaps that we could do with this specific figure and i think that's a really great one another thing you could do with this figure is arm swapping it with the entrance grades giving it the white sleeves you could switch it over with the survivor series figure and give it the lime green and black sleeves as well and you could even do a switch with maybe the elite 75 and then maybe a different other arm because you guys know that he has the sleeves and he rocked different color sleeves all the time so there's a lot of different things that we could do with this jeff hardy but that's what's fun about jeff hardy figures is you can interchange the head sculpts and the sleeves and do all kinds of crazy stuff with it which which is, uh, you know, something that I plan on doing with this Jeff. The only con to that is that it's a two-pack, and you guys know that the two-packs do run a lot, so maybe if this two-pack ends up dropping in price, like on Amazon, and it goes for 20 or maybe it gets down to 15 or something really, really crazy, I doubt it drops below 30 but you never know, or you, you find this on ringside for really, really cheap when they do a Black Friday sale or some crazy stuff like that. I'm not sure when we're getting this, and it'll probably have to be until next year before it was on the Black Friday or the Cyber Monday sale, but that is just something something that I'm thinking about with this Jeff that two packs and you know two pack elite two packs usually take forever to drop down in price and when they finally do if they ever do sometimes they never drop in price and they usually go for like 40 or 50 and you know paying 40 or 50 and you know trying to build up those Jeffs to just do fix ups is really really expensive so it can add up but I mean to add to my Jeff Hardy collection I really would like to have at least two or three of this figure for different fix ups and stuff but that is what I would do with Jeff Hardy guys really clean head swaps that you can do with this guy and put that head sculpt on a lot of different bodies and uh, seeing what that would look like would look really, really clean. Or putting a custom t-shirt on this guy would look excellent as well. Now for Triple H in this set, I mean, not a lot of head swaps you can do because this head sculpt is so good already. But you could put up a modern Triple H head sculpt on there because he doesn't have any updated tattoos or anything like that. So just putting a modern head sculpt on the new Triple H from the 2-pack would be pretty cool. Nothing too out of the ordinary there, but just something I wanted to throw in. Now moving on, guys, we do have the Elite 83 Drew McIntyre. Now this one's very easy and switch. You know, just switch out the head sculpt with the Elite 71 or the NXT head sculpt. I would probably prefer the Elite 71. It is better than the NXT. I feel like the NXT is a little bit weird with the neck and everything like that, but just head swapping the Elite 83 with the Elite 71, vice versa, or Survivor Series figures. Very simple and easy fix up to do, and I just wanted to throw in the video for something that you might want to try out. I will say the the smiling head sculpt does look good, but it kind of makes Drew look like a witch or something. Kind of kind of pretty weird, man. Next up, guys, we have the Elite 83 Edge figure. Now this one's pretty cool. I say you could swap out the head sculpt for maybe some of those Ultimate Edition Edge head sculpts that we're going to be getting. I think it's only coming with two right now, but I think either of those would look good on the Elite 83. Maybe you want to. Watch, you know, switch it out for an older Edge head sculpt. Maybe you want to put the Elite 8 head sculpt on there or the, the brand new ringside exclusive Edge, th you know, three pack with the Edge heads. Maybe you want to put that head sculpt on there. That's another one you could do. And maybe even you want to take it a step further. Maybe you want to make some modern Edge heads. You could even switch the Zack Ryder and the Kurt Hawkins head sculpts on there for feds and stuff, you know, to make modern Edge heads with the, with the updated Edge gear. Another thing that I also thought about is you could switch out the arms with basic Edge arms from other figures or switching these two figures' arms and stuff to give him red arm bands or black armbands or switching it with other armbands, you know, from older Edge Basics to give him different 
wristbands and stuff to match the gear or something like that. And then the final thing that I definitely want to do, guys, is I do want to switch out the torso because you guys know that Edge is ripped, man. He, he put in the work in the gym. He lost all that weight and lost that body fat, and he got chiseled up in the gym. So I think switching the torso with either the Hall of Fame Jake the Snake, which is probably the more accurate skin tone, or you could switch the torso with a uh, Seth Rollins figure, which I think would have been the best skin tone to use for this Edge Elite that's coming out because he, he definitely got darker um, when he returned to the company. So I think the Seth Rollins skin tone will probably work better instead of the skin tone they usually give him. But I don't know if we're going to be able to get around that, but that is something that I would do. And he does have the chest hair and stuff, which I think this figure should have chest hair because he had chest hair when he returned. So Elite 83 Edge definitely needs a torso swap, and I think it is, it is mandatory. It's something that I definitely want to do. And if you don't like the Seth Rollins, torso maybe you want to switch it out with like a trash corbin torso without the tattoos obviously so it'd be like a very wyndham torso or one of those taller uh, you know ripped up torsos like the wade barrett style next up guys is going to be adam cole now this one's pretty simple it's just the fan vote adam cole you could switch this head sculpt with the epic moments or the basic adam cole head sculpt that we got with one of his recent basics and you could switch the legs with william regal to give him the you know the more taller thicker legs i hate the short legs mold that they always give him something i really do not like about that same thing with champa and other guys they really they always like make them way too small for me and so that is something I would definitely want to do is switch out the thighs and uh, put some bigger thighs on this guy because it just makes him look odd when he's like super duper short compared to everybody and that is something I definitely want to do with this is put some William Regal legs on this Adam Cole and switch out the yelling head sculpt I like to make my screaming head sculpts and expression you know your expression head sculpts I like to make those interchangeable so that is something I'll probably do with the Adam Cole next up guys is going to be Elite 85 Undertaker now this one's pretty cool I think a head swap with maybe the Elite 79 or maybe even the basic 74 you guys know my ultimate undertaker fix up that i talk about all the time putting that head sculpt on this elite 85 or maybe even just putting like maybe one of the older head sculpts maybe putting this head sculpt on the elite 79 or putting this elite 85 head sculpt on a classic taker would look pretty cool i don't know because we don't know exactly what the full sculpt's gonna look like like we don't know what the back of the head looks like we don't know what you know how the bandanas fit and all that but maybe switching this out for a different era of undertaker would also look good but the main swap i'm thinking is elite 79 taker switch Switching those head sculpts between those two I think would look really badassery and then the basic 74 as well so that is some exciting fix ups that I want to do with this Undertaker Elite 85 which is why I was so excited. Next up guys we had to cover my boy Finn Balor now this one I'm really excited about I want to do a head swap with the Elite 74 first of all put him in the red gear I think that would look really badassery I want to see what the smiley Finn head sculpt looks like on this NXT Finn Balor body as well updated tattoos and things of that nature uh, also the top talents 2019 so in the extreme rules you know where he fought Trash Corbin, the top talents figure with the, you know, like the gunmetal gray or the silver attire with the black accents. That would look really badassery, I think, with this pissed off head sculpt. Switching out the tattooed arms with the black armbands would also look sick. And then, of course, the ringside exclusive figure with the Balor Club logos on there. Putting this pissed off head sculpt on there and the updated tattoos would look good as well. And just playing around with a bunch of fix-ups. I really want to get a bunch of this fin and hopefully this, this thing is going to be widely available. Similar to the Elite 74, the top talents fin Balors, the ones that kind of ride it on shelves at different targets and different areas getting the elite 82 fin and then putting that head sculpt and different arms on all kinds of different assortments of parts and Finn Balor figures is going to be super fun and that's what makes you know fixing up figures so daggum fun that's what makes surgery epic and customs and, and fixing up figures it's like my favorite thing about collecting and uh, customizing action figures especially WWE figures so that is definitely one that I'm excited for another one guys is going to be the street profits now this one mainly is on Angelo Dawkins just something I was running rough shot in my brain but if you guys will look at his lower legs he does have the same shoe mold as John Cena which leaves him open for shoe swaps you could swap the shoes out for the Ghostbusters Elite you could swap the shoes out for all the different John Cena figures. You got even the Enzo Amore shoes. You could switch on some Enzo Amore shoes. You could switch on uh, some, uh, not the Usos. The Usos have a different shoe mold that are actually smaller than the John Cena shoes. The uh, Even the Epic Moments 3-pack, the Kurt Angle, those shoes, you could switch those on there, and you could just play with some different attires and stuff. Another thing I thought about, I'm not looking at the Street Profits figure in front of me right now, but you may even be able to switch out the calves onto a John Cena figure and give him some red sleeves or something like that or put that on another custom character. Maybe even a Roman Reigns for the bloodline or something. So that is something you could also play with and uh, mess around with. I'm trying to think of some things to do with Montez Ford. I guess I could throw this in here. I know I've mentioned in multiple videos already, but maybe taking the jacket from Angelo Dawkins that we're going to get, that cloth jacket, putting that on your Montez Ford instead of the hardened vest that, you know, it goes together with the little prongs or whatever you want to call it, where the, the rubber shirt, you can put on the 
cloth jacket instead probably be a lot better and give you more articulation and stuff so that's just something to think about and mention just like we did with the elite 64 usos when those released next up guys we have pretty much the final fix up or the one that i could think of that was kind of out of the box or at least trying my best to think of some different stuff like i went through these figures multiple times trying to think of stuff a lot of them you know nothing was really coming to me off the top of my head i, I call myself trying really hard to get these fix ups and swaps in here the best that i could i'm sure when i get them in hand and you know the more i think on it i'll probably think of more and better fix ups but the last one guys is going to be elite 82 john morrison i think just putting this morrison head sculpt on the survivor series elite and then switching the survivor series elite head sculpt onto this body and then taking maybe his elite four or his elite 10 head sculpt and switching those on and taking the elite 82 head sculpt and putting them on the you know the survivor series or the elite 10 elite four head sculpt or the the bodies of those figures i think that would do amazing as well i think those would look really really good i'm still having mixed feelings about this head sculpt i'm not entirely sold on the head sculpt but uh, it's just something that kind of, you know, was running through my mind. And I figured that'd be pretty cool. And another thing is that they painted on sort of the tassel look. You guys know, like, the boot covers. So I don't know if maybe you could switch out the lower legs with something and then add the boot covers or trim them down and then add actual John Morrison boot covers or, or Undertaker boot covers to the thing to make it more accurate or slim them down. I don't know. That's just something that ran through my brain as well. But I call myself looking through all of the figures and the fix-ups and stuff. I tried to think of something we could do for Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I tried to think of something to do with all these legends and all these different things but nothing really was standing out in my brain you know Seamus not too much to do I like this head sculpt of course you could put that on some other things uh Johnny Gargano syndrome on Karrion Cross. I can't tell really by the picture if it's actually Johnny Gargano syndrome or if it just looks like it but that's something you could do you could use some Seth Rollins parts for the fans takeover and switch out the you know the kick pads for some elite 57 kick pads and you know remove all the paint you could have solid gold kick pads with that black and gold attire from that Seth Rollins figure and if you guys will notice on his left arm i know i covered this in one video but he does have he has one black left wrist tape and then on his other one he has gold and black so i thought that was really interesting as well but you could head swap this guy and i think taking some elite 57 uh, lower legs and maybe knee pads and putting them on this guy for sure the lower legs if you removed all the paint and put the gold on there I think those golds will match up from that top talents but or not the top talents but the fan votes uh, the fan vote Seth Rollins elite but that's really all that's coming to my brain right now but if I have any more guys I'll definitely make a part two if you have any cool fix-ups in your head that you guys are thinking of for the figures that we got at ringside fest at home please let me know down in the comment section below but that is pretty much going to do it for this future fix-up video guys before we get out of here I definitely want to give a shout out to somebody from our recent video where I threw away the Trash Corbin figure. Jesus Christ. I want to give a huge shout out to Max Caliendo for this comment on our last video. This comment actually made me laugh out loud. He said, at least he's in his true home now. Edit. He's probably chilling with Bobby Trashley. thought this was hilarious because you guys know that his true, true home, the Trash Corbin's true home is going to be the dumpster or the dumpster fire that's taking place at the incinerator over at the trash bin where they pile up all the trash from everybody's houses around town. So that is probably where the Trash Corbin figure is and this this comment actually made me laugh out loud it's got 140 likes so i think everybody really enjoyed this comment but i thought that was hilarious so huge shout out to max for this comment thank you so very much bro but i'm getting the hell out of here guys thank you so very much for watching let me know what you think of my fix-ups down in the comment section below but thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks